What's up you guys, Zeddy at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you the best paid VPN used on both iOS and Android in 2018. So the reason I'm talking about paid VPNs is because the free ones you can get in either the Play Store or the App Store hardly ever work right. They're filled with ads and most of the time they've got viruses. So I'm going to be showing you Nord and Express. These are going to be my top two favorites currently. I'll have links in the description if you want to check them out. And I just want to say VPNs are good for security and privacy. You know, Google can't track you you could download movies torrents uh whatever stream things without your service provider hitting you up you know saying you're doing something illegal and then of course you know you can access restricted websites not available in your country and you can also fake your location so those are just some of the things i want to start off with nordvpn because it's kind of become like my favorite right now basically Nord's been around for about six years. They've got a great mobile app that is just so easy to use on both iOS or Android. They've got over 4,400 locations you can choose from on here. You can access six devices simultaneously. And, uh, I mean, I just love the user interface on here. So, I've been joking about it every time I open this thing up. But, basically, they've got this world map feature that allows you to kind of like scroll around um, and you know you'll see ships you know uh, like sailboats you know they've got submarines tankers uh, and they've got these little blue icons on these different continents so basically uh, these are going to be the areas you can connect to so let me just zoom in here let's click right here all right so we got Brazil right here let's say I wanted to connect to Brazil there's a quick connect button you can click which is cool um, and then as soon as you're connected, it's going to pull up, you know, your connectivity up here. And it's going to say that you're connected to the Brazil server, their number five server. It'll give you your new IP address and it'll show you how long your connection's been active. So when you're connected on here, you are connected. You don't have to worry about it disconnecting. I mean, you're pretty much good to go. If you want to disconnect at any time, obviously you can click the disconnect button. Um, and there is another way that you can, uh, you know, browse for locations on here. So you can go to all servers. You can scroll to all the different countries, and each country is going to have different servers within them. They sort them by the best, but you can, you know, connect to any single one you want to. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just very easy to use. So when you're turned on uh, on here, it, you're pretty much good to go. You can leave this running all day. You can connect six devices simultaneously. And, uh, you know, the service runs for about $10 a month. ExpressVPN, the next one I'm be getting into, it has exactly the, uh, you know, the same, pretty much the same price point. Uh, Express is actually the number one VPN service in the world. Their, uh, you know, user interface is a little bit different, but it's also very easy. Uh, you know, you're going to get blazing fast speeds on here. They have a little bit less server-wise, 2,000 servers, and I'm pretty sure... You can connect up to 10 devices on here. But anyways, I'm just going to open it up real quick. But literally, this is all it is. When you open this up, you can choose your location. So if you want to connect to any location in the world, you can do that. And then, uh, you know, we'll go with Hong Kong. Let's see if Hong Kong works. So it's going to, you know, do this little thing where it's, uh, you know, turning green. And then it'll turn green. And then you'll be good to go. And then the connection will be active. So, I mean, it's very easy to use. These are both very user-friendly. That's why I like them. I've been subscribed to both services now for a while, um, you know, so I have both of them active. Don't ask me why. I mean, I'm paying for actually multiple VPN services because I keep trying to find the best ones out there. But right now, like I said, in 2018, on both iOS and Android, you know, Nord and Express are like my top two go-tos right now. But I'm experimenting with some other ones. If you have any questions about either one of these VPN services, obviously hit me up in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, and if you have any questions about VPNs in general, I'll get back to you. And uh, if you could also hit the like and share button on this video, I'd appreciate that, guys. Thanks for watching it, and we will see you all later.